happy new year everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome my name is lillian you can call me lily in this video i'll be telling you guys why i think ghana is the safest and will always be the safest country in west africa um, it's totally okay not to agree with my views but note that everything i'm saying in this video is due to personal experience can you take that away from me no you cannot so be respectful about it no. reason number one why ghana will always be the safest country in africa is that ghana police are disciplined they are so disciplined that even when a celebrity commits a crime is being charged for it without any interference from the masses you can take the Chatawale instance for example his management team made a tweet that he has been shot and um, he's hospitalized and battling for his dear life you know what the police did they went to his house he was not there they went from hospital to hospital in search of chatawali they didn't find him they went everywhere to look for him and when they couldn't find him they declared him wanted that is one of the top singers in ghana very popular for his music and his trances on social media once you get to ghana you must know who chatawale is if you don't already know who chatawale is already so he's a dance hall artist and a very successful one at that in ghana he liked that he was being attacked by gunmen and that he was shot and um, battling for his dear life so police went into the matter they didn't wait for any official report to say oh we are waiting for chatawale to come to the police station or any of his family members to come to the police station before we can uh, formally um, be involved into the matter no they didn't do that they didn't wait for that they went to his house in search of him so the uh, chatawale after they declared him wanted he turned himself in for arrest so you can see he was arrested and charged and Ghanaians did not interfere a certain pastor who is in the habit of seeing vision you know prophecy every year he would tell people this will happen to you that will happen to this this will this will do that so he was also arrested and uh, granted bail and awesome. he paid huge amount of money for his bail you can see next time he's never gonna do it again so in my own country if that happens oh you and i will take to the streets hey free davido free whiskey is not the cause of your problem go to sambise forest and arrest Boko Haram. leave them alone this and that they are not the problem they are not the cause of your problem this and that police are this police are that you see that's the difference so they will always be ahead of us in terms of security point number two why ghana will always be the safest country in west africa is that ghanaians you see ghanaians they are disciplined now here if you are a known ghanaian and you are in ghana you go to a ghanaian so that they can cover you uh, please oh Nipacho, I'm not from here. I'm a foreigner. Uh, police are looking for me. Please hide me so that I can escape back to my country because I do not have paper. <laughs> you see that shit right there? If you do it in Accra, Ghana or any part of Ghana that I know, the same people that you confided in, the same person that pretends to be hiding you is the one that will give you up to the police. Yeah. That Ghanaian or Ghanaian family is going to report you to the police. They are going to hand, they are going to hand you over to the police because you are a threat. They don't want any problem. They believe that if all is well, you will not be running from their police. So a clear conscience, do not fear anything. You go and stand and face the police and vindicate yourself. That's what they believe. So if you're running into your Ghanaian friend, please do uh, Mm -hmm. I don't have my papers have expired or something and the police are chasing me. I don't want them to arrest me. Please help me. I want to escape to my country. Sorry. They will turn you in. You see, they are working together. Exactly. Ghanaians and the Ghanaian police works hand in hand for the safety of everyone. They do not do like us. We in Nigeria... If somebody comes to you, hey Joe, 
yeah the person is yoba you are yoba the person say hey joe i'm just using that for instance don't come for me don't come okay no now i don't want to use yoba let me use Igbo or Igbo family in lagos and knock at their door oh please keep me save me hide me i have committed a crime and the police are looking for me help me i want to escape and go back to eastern part of nigeria without the police arresting me they will hide that person you know why because the person is chukwemeka the person speaks Igbo. the person is Igbo. i'm using you for instance i do not hate Igbos. okay i do not i love them they're very close but I'm just using that for instance. Okay, fine. Let me use Yoruba too. Okay, you, uh, a Yoruba criminal will run and knock at the door and say, Joe, hey, Joe, help me, hide me. Uh, the police are after me. The police are after me. Please hide me, save me so I can run back to Shobo tomorrow. You are going the, the Yoruba family or person is going to hide that man because he's his tribal man. In Ghana, they don't have that. If you're from the Western region, if you're from the Eastern region of Ghana, you speak tree. Everybody speak tree. Somebody, a criminal is going to run to a Ghanaian and speak tree with the person. Hide me. His neighbor is going to hear it and say, oh, okay. Yo, and, and make that call to the police. Okay, there are people from that are living next to my apartment. Uh, and... Um, come now and arrest the criminal that is hiding in the apartment you can see so it's not by magic they will always 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 be ahead of other west african countries especially in nigeria come and beat me i'm in my house point number three why ghana is and will always be the safest country in west africa is the ghanaian police mm -hmm. ah my god see there is, when you see a Ghanaian police, fear will enter you. Fear will enter you. You see, they are police. They are police are well taken care of. They are well dressed. You see, their uniforms, when they wear it, they wear their boots. Oh my. I'm going to try and start some clips of how Ghanaian, a typical Ghanaian police looks. Oh my goodness. They look so good. Well dressed. You're dressed and they wear their boots. You see them to look so healthy. We have slim police people in Ghana. But see, I have I have never come across a police in Ghana, a policeman in Ghana or woman looking minority. Mm -mm, I have not. They look well fed, healthy. So when you see them coming, you will know. You will know that heat is about to happen. They're not your regular policemen. That you just see and say, hey, this one is a drunkard. Come out here. Yeah, yeah. corruption is something that almost every part of Africa practice. Almost. I didn't call your country. So maybe the other part is your country. That is not. Almost. But in their case here, it's not as much as it is, as shameless as it is in my beloved country. Point number four, why Ghana is and will always be the safest country in Africa, West Africa, sorry, will always be the safest country in West Africa is that people have shame. You understand? People have shame. A typical Ghanaian is ashamed of being accused of something bad. It's not like where uh, corruption and everything is the norm. Like you obviously, you're doing the wrong thing. Obviously, even your church lets you know that what you're doing is wrong. But because you have other reasons to justify your action, they are not like that. A typical Ghanaian is afraid, is ashamed of bad things. Number five, why Ghana is and will always be the safest country in the... Oh my God, I keep saying in the world. In west africa is that Ghanaians have respect for their service men they respect their police they don't have trust issues on their police tell a Ghanaian that i will get you arrested he is afraid because he knows what is about to come to him especially when he or her is guilty they are always afraid and they want to make peace immediately. They don't want police wahala. Maybe you have an experience. It's okay. 
but for me that uh i didn't have any experience like that but where i was staying in one of the apartments i was staying when i visited ghana before um one of the nigerians people that were living next to my apartment had issues with the landlord and then he got the police involved and then he had a video evidence of where the guests were verbally abusing him and then threatening him so when he released it to the police it wasn't funny at all so that was how i managed to know how the work and other things that have happened around me you know with the police not personal experience yet i do not have a one-on-one -on -one. i have never been arrested but i see that people here when you tell them you want to arrest they are always you know afraid they don't want that they will prefer to settle out of police unlike nigeria when you tell somebody i will get you arrested the person is going to make sure that you get the police involved they'll beat you if the person they have the intention of beating you he or she is going to beat you so that you can call the police. You say you call the police, there is nothing they can do. And yeah, like, they don't do like that. You know, everyone is careful so they don't get into trouble with the police. So another reason why Ghana is and will always be the safest country in West Africa is that they believe in their police a lot. They believe in their police. They trust their police. They do not have trust issue on their police there's a woman I, you know she was telling me about how a man tried to pick her kids up from school and then the man also came to the house another time when she was not at home when she wasn't at home she's a single mom of four uh, i wanted to know if the man is a man trying to kidnap the kids and then take custody of the kids but she said no he can never do that so she went to the police and lay official complain that oh my kids are under threat my i don't know someone is trying to kidnap them in nigeria that is not common you want to wait eh, just relax wait when it happened then you go and call the police the police are always the last option in nigeria but in ghana they are always the first option except the person repents and vow never to do it thank you for watching this video keep the hate coming unfortunately for you the thumb down button is no longer working what are you gonna do nothing you're just gonna hate <laughs> well keep the attack coming keep the attack coming it's okay i understand all right thank you for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next one